Now, what language are you guys? Um, that's the first difficult choice we have to make. Well, right? clearly I am Espanol, uh, amigos. Entonces, uh, bienvenidos al primer episodio de uh, Pokemon Snap Nueva. <laughs> yeah, it's our premiere episode for Pokemon Snap. New. So, shout out to all my Spanish speakers in the chat. Tell me how good Oscar's grammar was just now. Because <laughs> yeah. I never really know. Um, what are we thinking on, like, complexion here? Good question. Um... You, you're honestly that second one looks most like you. Yeah, I think so. I, I used to be blonder like that. You know what? I can't identify with having blue eyes though, so I'm gonna pick this one. <laughs> really though. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we're ready to start. Hey guys, welcome everybody to a brand new let's play. Um, we have three. We got a star-studded cast this time. I'm the Kong Foil. I'm the Green Scorpion. Howdy doody, everyone. Wambu here. Hey, he said the thing. He said the thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, we just Wambu uh, contacted us on Discord. Like, yo, you guys are playing new Pokemon Snap. I want in. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I love the Pokemon Snap games immensely. Uh, so I was really excited. I was... I, I originally wanted to... Um, I originally wanted to just join in for, like, one or two episodes. And they're like, nah, join us for the entire thing. Heck I'm yeah. like, oh, okay. Hell yeah. Yeah, I probably have the least amount of uh, Pokemon Snap experience compared to the two of you, but I still enjoy the games uh, during my time You're with them. You're missing out. You're missing out. Yeah, did you, uh, Wombo, were you big on the N64 one then too, I'm guessing? Oh, yeah. Since, oh, since yeah. that's the only oh, other yeah. game. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've 100% did the N64 game Same. like so many times. Heck, yeah. So, so we got a I think Professor I, Mirror here. Uh, most. Yeah, I think there's literally, like, on my TV Womboy channel, I did, like, a stream of it where I just 100 percent did the whole game in, like, one sitting. Oh, nice. Which is very easy to do because the yeah. game is only, like, <laughs> like an hour long or so. Especially if fair. you know, like, where the, like, ways to open the new stages are you can knock yeah. down like two hours easy uh yeah so we are here in the lentil region i'm not gonna lie the story here doesn't super matter <laughs> yeah I, I i appreciate the fact that they at least like attempt to give some context as yeah. to why we're going around and snapping pictures of all these pokemon and whatnot you know yeah um and it gives kind of a framing device for like the the um the whole like because there's a system that's going to be introduced later on where, like, characters will ask you for, like, favors to mm -hmm. take pictures of specific Pokemon in specific circumstances. Yeah. This game is so dense with content. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah, when I heard about new Pokemon Snap, I, I, I admittedly am going to say that I was anyway. not too super excited about it. I saw it, like... I saw it announced and I was like, oh, okay, that's actually really neat. I'm glad to see more Pokemon stuff that's not yeah. just, you know, the base games and whatnot. I can't believe it took them this long to make a second Pokemon Snap game. Because oh I, my I think God. it's such a golden idea. Mm -hmm. They, they, this was literally my most anticipated sequel of any video yeah. game ever. Wow. Yeah. Really? Any so, video game ever? Any video game ever. This was my most anticipated sequel. Because, like, what else is there like this? There's not a lot of on-rail photography shooter games. That is very fair. Let alone I will grant you Pokemon. that. Yeah. And, yeah, as you're going to see, all you guys out there who might be unfamiliar with the game, um, I envy you because there's just a lot of, like, moments of this of, like, oh my gosh, this Pokemon's in the game. Yeah. 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 This these both of the games like the original and this game are so intensely charming yeah. like the this these games yep. in my opinion show like the pokemon themselves in their absolute most charismatic lights mm -hmm. where even pokemon that you wouldn't otherwise think of like lumineon for example are just like presented in these really like charismatic pretty and like just overall charming ways i love these games because you uh, get to see them like in a habitat like acting and yeah. doing like just doing their thing you wrote um the you wrote um a lot of uh top 10 water levels and i really really like what you wrote um when we were discussing one of the levels is that this game is probably the best way to showcase these creatures that we're so familiar with in an actual yes. ecosystem yes like that that i think is the biggest charm with this is like okay we actually get to see all these things that the pokedex talks about like you know about like uh, certain pokemon um behaving in a certain way that we never get to see in the base games because they just don't really do that all too much yeah also by the way i just realized this game has voice acting yeah a little bit huh 
I will say, um, this game has a pretty oppressive this tutorial. All the way around, left or right. Yeah. I don't like how it forces you into this section, you can use and there's, like, no way to speed to it up or anything. Too. Yeah. So, so my, like... um, my biggest criticism with this game, I would say, is that it's very slow-paced at the beginning. Yeah. You're kind of locked into the first two levels for a while, and then mm -hmm. when, like, the desert level opens up, it definitely picks up a lot, lot, a lot, a lot more. Whatever that shape is around is the subject of your photo. Remember that. It'll be important also, I have food. <laughs> so if you hear, like, crunching, don't don't worry about it. <laughs> Eating during it. our Let's Play? How dare yeah. you? I, so just, I have professional. I, I expected some food basic today. professionalism here, Wombu. I'm very disappointed. <laughs> nope. I, you're getting graham crackers, the opposite of professionality. <laughs> Graham crackers are a pretty professional food as far as things go. I mean... <laughs> no. <laughs> Opposite of professionality. I don't know, like, like... Think Opposite Because they hang out with s'mores, right? And they're definitely the thing keeping s'mores together. <laughs> like, true, 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 true. Like, I, I remember graham crackers being uh, referred to as, like, the roof tiles of, <laughs> of, of like, snack foods, but then I'm like, um, no, that's hardtack. Graham crackers mm -hmm. are, like, the roof tiles of, like... A uh, very, very fancy, like, museum or something. I mean, great for, like, gingerbread houses and stuff, I guess. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do Have you ever built a gingerbread house? Yeah. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. Hey, Professor! You've covered the basics. So, what, what's, this girl, what's this girl's name again? Uh, this is, uh, is it Rita? Hello. Yeah, I think so. It's something a like Professor, <laughs> Mirror, and Rita. They have a, a relationship a lot like, um... A lot like Rowan and Dawn. I was like, thinking Rowan and Dawn. Or the the professor and uh, the other rival in uh, yeah. Legends Arceus. How much do you actually like know about this game, Oscar? Um, very little. I uh, oh, I, I remember start. I remember starting to play because I borrowed it from a friend of mine, right? Um, I yeah. started with the first few uh, first few levels, and then I kind of fell off. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, I kind of moved on to other games because, um. While I am a big fan of, like, you know, differing, like, you know, gameplay styles, and I do like me some feel-good games like these, um, John, John will tell you, I'm a much more action-oriented uh, sort of gamer, so... Yeah. Um, do I you don't, know about... I, I, I don't remember exactly, but I think I remember playing this game, but then I kind of fell back into, um, into helping uh, my friend Z with Monster Hunter World for a while. Yeah. Um. Do you uh? Do you know about Illumina Pokemon? I do know about Illumina. Yeah, I know about the Illumina Pokemon. I know about the Illumina Orbs. I know about the branching yeah. paths that you can take depending on your actions throughout each of the levels. And again, that's what you were saying earlier. This game is like oozing with content, and a lot of it yeah. does have to do with how you go about the task of uh, photographing all of these Pokemon, which yeah. I think is really really cool. It's one of those games where it's like I wish it's like I wish I could be looking at everything at once because every time I'm looking one direction, I feel like something like is going on behind me, like yeah. like something exciting is going on that I'm going to miss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, that's actually going to be the really cool thing with this uh, playthrough is that I'm go I'm kind of a spectator, hands off type of person here. Like John's going to be having the reins for uh, uh, throughout pretty much the entire playthrough. I have to get used to the controls again because I, I played all the way through this game in like when it came out, and then I haven't really been back since. Um, remind me, does this game have like uh, if you're in handheld mode, does it have like? Gyro, uh, yeah. gyro controls yeah okay which that. is which is pretty fun actually like i imagine like that's kind of like the uh best way to experience this because it's actually like you're holding a camera Allie liked playing this game a lot like in a rolling desk chair and she would just like turn 360 degrees oh that's great Jeez. um yeah rita's got this like a little bit of a like oh why are you sending the new guy out i want to do but then she like warms up to you pretty fast yeah <laughs> Yeah, so we're gonna go out on our first mission here. They they go much more out of the way to explain the the vehicle this time, <laughs> because in the in the first game it just kind of is what it is, and yeah. then you're like all of a sudden you're like, oh wait, this thing's a boat. Oh wait, it's a ship now yeah. as well. What? Uh, the zero two it was right. I think it's the zero two in this one, and it was the zero one in the original. The zero mm -hmm. one, that's it. Oh no, we're riding a uh, very creepy Kirby boss. Yeah. It even has a it yeah. even has a single eye. All right, so I gotta I can press ZL to zoom in on things. 
A yes. to take pictures, and for right now, that's all I can really do. Yeah, I think. Oh yeah, there's Grookey and Pichu. Okay, I'm going to say this game is sometimes very like, like th this is something that I'm I'm genuine. I genuinely think the first game was perhaps a little bit better with this. Yeah, is that sometimes the this game is really dumb with like what it considers to be like. A picture of certain mods. Absolutely. Like, oh yeah. Like, like, like every now and then you'll get like a a picture where like Pichu is in most of the frame and Grookey is like off to the side, and the game will consider it a picture of Grookey. I, I think that's like a bit of a consequence when you're trying uh, to program a game with like um, asset recognition. Like, it, it, it's a lot harder than you might expect. That happens yeah. a lot when you're trying to do the, like, special challenges where, like, somebody has a request for you to take... Ooh, a wormhole! Oh, I imagine so, yeah. I took forever trying to get uh, Pidgeot snatching up Magikarp. I spent, oh. like, hours on that that one because it just... The game just, like, wouldn't recognize it happening in my mm -hmm. pictures. Yeah. And we got this mysterious plant yes, here. Yes, the Crystal Bloom. So that's gonna be important later sure is. Yeah, so right now I don't have, um, I don't have much of a way to interact with anything. I don't have the, the food or the the Illumina, the Illumina orbs. orbs yet. Something that always like, like <laughs> because I played the first game so much before playing this one, I would like freak out whenever I saw a Gen 1 Pokemon that wasn't in the first game. Yeah. Because I was just like, oh my god. There they are. And what's cool is, like, what was it? Like, Dodrio, for example, was not in the first game. But there was a Doduo but, right at the Yeah, yeah, but one of the yeah. first Pokemon one of the first Pokemon you see in the first game is Doduo. Magikarp to your left, or to your right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and they put it in, like, pretty much the same spot. Yeah. Also, so this is why I love this game. I never gave a crap about Swanna before <laughs> playing yeah. this game. And now I'm like, look at that. That's beautiful. We got a the doof working on his dam here. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, yeah, fun fact, um, one of, uh, Amber's favorite Pokemon is Luminion, and to anyone who's familiar with Pokemon at all will know that Luminion is, like, arguably one of the worst Pokemon, because it's yeah. just a fish. Yeah. But then you see yeah. it in this game, and it's like, oh my god, this thing is beautiful. Sleepy dude. Yeah. And then, unlike the first game, not only is it, like, every Pokemon you want to get your top score for that Pokemon into the report... But there's um four levels of each like yeah. yeah. So you're also looking for different Pokemon like behaviors. I didn't yeah, realize so... how much bigger a uh, Pavilion is compared to Talo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Talo's also a um guy. here uh is there anything on the back of the sign? Uh, might be. Because I know in one of the like the favor things later on you see some you see guys on the back of it. Uh, okay, nope. it looks like there's nothing right now. Also, um, as you get, Comfey. if you keep going to the same places, your like score for places go up. Yeah. So, so that there's like, there's multiple levels. levels. Yeah. Yeah. So you can come back here on like level three, and that Grookey and Peachy, instead of running away, they're like, oh hey man. Yeah, and then like new Pokemon will show up, and older Pokemon will have like different behaviors. Dang it! She waved at me, and I missed it. Basically, it's the end yeah. of the course. Okay, then. Yeah, that that's the main thing with, like, the start of this, uh, run, or the start of this game. I think that's the reason why, like, I kind of fell off when I first started playing this game, is that I just kind of, like, yeah, a lot of it is very, very slow. Back. Yeah. Yeah, and the first game didn't have that. The first game, like, pretty much just dropped you into the first level. And... Yeah, the first game, you can just breeze through it. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we want to pick our best versions of each of these pictures. <laughs> the second one, I think. Yeah, Yeah, I, I, I agree with the second one. Uh, Vivillion. That last one. Yeah, definitely. Easily. Um, I mean... Oh man, this is a tough choice. <laughs> <laughs> Got a Boothlaw back there. Grookey, it only recognized one of these as Grookey. These are two-star pictures of... Emolga um, yeah, because I think, because, because Emolga's flying. Yeah. Um, what's our best Wurmple here? 
I like the one where Wormpole's just- Oh, wait, 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 I like the irritated Wormpole on the fourth picture. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the one. You dare take a picture of me, sir? Well, yeah, that's easy. One. Number three. Easily, yeah. easily. Um, Swana... Um, I think number six or number three, because it does matter, like, uh... Center it of does frame and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, I, gotta it go, also, I gotta go with it, number three here. It, it, it also matters if they're facing towards you. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. Um, Three or four. Oh, four four might be really good, actually. Yeah, yeah. four straight on. Uh, Bidoof, I'm going to go with him working on his... Working on the dam, on yeah. Dam. Yeah. Got a magic arb over there. Yeah, I saw a moment where he was splashing. Sleepy Hootoot. I like the second I one. Yeah, I think it's two easily. You have multiple Kumfei in that picture as well. Okay. Oh, uh, even though you took a picture, I think you have to wait till one of the characters is like, hey, there's a thing called the Crystal Bloom. You should go take a picture yeah, of it. Yeah, he didn't ask me to take a picture of it yet, so... I do like the fact that you at least have, like, the chance to get it early. Yeah. Nice work. Now, the tough thing is, if you Damn, get... It only lets cool. you do one of each Pokemon at a time even if you have them of multiple star nice ratings one. yeah so like yeah. at minimum it's gonna take four runs to get every pokemon yeah mm -hmm. which i suppose like encourages the idea of like going back and revisiting and knowing yeah. that different things will happen A yeah discovery. Nice work. got some gold there so we said i <laughs> i <laughs> The first time I heard him say a new discovery, I thought he said a nudist covery, and I'm like, what, <laughs> is, a, what is a covery? <laughs> oh it's my lord. lord. A it, nudist it, covery. It, it's when the nudist actually has to get covered. A new discovery. <laughs> I mean, most Pokemon don't wear clothes, except for like, Machoke and Machamp. Okay, I, got, I gotta ask y'all, uh, what's your stance on po certain Pokemon wearing clothes? Uh, I think it could look awesome. I, I, I get kind of confused when the clothes also goes into the Pokemon, the yeah. Pokeball with them. A new discovery. Nice work. Like, I, I know the one that is often brought up when it comes to that idea is um, Sock and Thrall. Yeah, actually, did you know that um, in Japan, Sock is so popular that it actually has its own convention? Actually, though? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, so, yeah Sockon. That's, that's... Sock on these nuts. <laughs> oh my god! We brought got this. <laughs> we we got brought him. this guy on. Oh my god! Are got you him. nuts? Yes. Are you actually insane? <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> you were that waiting so for smooth. that one, and we got it on the first episode. That was so smooth. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh, I applaud you, Roman. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. The, the, the thing is, I believed you. Yeah, and I, I actually your would trust. believe Sock is popular in Japan. I don't know if I'm he actually is like, or not. I not know really. Sock was in the anime, like. Was the one guy's ace Pokemon in the black and white se series? I I I. Jesus. Well, well, hold on to that because we're gonna be seeing a Slugma later in this Arceus game. So. Preserve me. Lots you can do with that. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's my main contribution to this <laughs> let's play. <laughs> Well, who doesn't even want to be in this Let's yeah, Play? I don't just, even. I don't, I don't need to say anything it, else. It he's just, he's just here joke. to amuse you and to torment me. <laughs> well, mission accomplished. No, I will get like very passionate about this game at points. Oh because yeah, absolutely. I love it. Like I, I remember, like again, like John and I did some research for like certain things going on later uh, with this game, and there's some really, really awesome stuff in this game. Yeah, I mm -hmm. mean, I've I've played it all the way through, though. I've never played um. I haven't played it since DLC came out for it, so I don't even know what that DLC is. Oh, shoot, yeah. So you're, so we will get something uh, new for you specifically. Yeah, here. I know there's a few yeah. new Pokemon put in. Mm -hmm. There's, like, a couple new routes on tracks or something. Did you play Yeah, um, I didn't, like, I haven't played the, uh, like, post-game levels as much. Ah, okay. Um, I've played, I, like, I've, I've tried each of them, but I haven't explored them super in-depth, so if we get far enough into this, there will be new stuff for anyway. me, even. Awesome. 
I love how Eevee's just walking back there, just kind of minding his own yeah. business. Yeah, because eventually yeah. you can just, like, drive around the lab here, and there's certain... Uh, oh. I wasn't sure if that was like going to be a spoiler or not. <laughs> that, <laughs> um, I don't know. But I was like, oh, you know, yeah, this lab ends up being a level later. Who What's up? <laughs> Are, are we really going to be so worried about spoilers in a Pokemon Snap? I, I guess that, like, is a fun surprise when you're playing it. Yeah. And <laughs> this game this game is all about, like, the fun surprises that Pokemon do. It's like, oh, holy shit, Wooper just pulled out a gun. That guy doesn't even have arms. <laughs> yeah. How's that possible? I find, it, I find it hilarious when, like, I'm talking, like, what who's going to be worried about spoilers in a Pokemon Snap game? But then uh, I, I, I remember when you, we were doing the uh, Kirby stream, you were telling me about the crazy lore of Power Wash Simulator. Power Wash and Simulator I was like, has what? <laughs> Actually, I won't lie, there is a thing in this game that like I would say is a spoiler that at the time when like it happened and I discovered it, I got like unreasonably like stoked about. Okay, well that's gonna be that's gonna be new to me. So I don't think it would this. matter to most people, but as a longtime fan. Speaking of which, my own Pokemon is um, currently uh, barking up a storm down there. Yeah, I, Kishki wanted to be part of the Let's Play also, but <laughs> I told her we had too many people on already. Try it out. Yeah, that's the thing is that like we also have two dogs <laughs> with us technically. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I can scan things now, right? Yep. That's yes, I did. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Th there you go. This, there's, that's the whole spiel with this tutorial bit. Mm. And I, I, I really don't mind it that much. I'm pretty patient with these kinds of things, but mm. it is annoying if you're like replaying the game. Well, pretty easy, right? When this icon pops up at the bottom of your screen, there's something nearby to check out. Like, even that, like, I can't press A to, like, oh, right. make that go faster. <laughs> yeah. Cool thing you know about Some Pokemon will react to the sound and electrical signal from the scan. Yeah, that's this pretty This I actually important. found kind of cool. Yeah. Snap a photo. The professor calls it an accidental C cheese feature. Anyway, that ought to cover everything. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Some po Pokemon will look at you when you do it. I imagine, yeah. like, some, like, Steel-type and Electric-type Pokemon would be extra sensitive to that sort of thing. Yeah, or Pokemon with good hearing. Yeah. Thank you. Don't hesitate to run a scan. All right, should we... Um, we, we got time for another one if yeah, we want to Yeah, let's get out there one more time. Yeah, why not? Like, go nuts, man. Yeah, so we are still... Okay, so we're still on the continent of Florio. Um, or not a continent, it's really just a big island. Um, so this run is going to be pretty much the same as the last one. Um, but at a different time? No, we, or is it just, we just like... haven't unlocked anything yet to be able to do it better. Right, right. So yeah, I guess that's the other thing, is that every level also has like a day and night version. Yeah, yeah. that that I do remember. All right, so here's a question for you guys. Um, yeah. If you were to, like, w would you say uh, you have a, a desire for a um, uh, for a Pokemon game that takes place in the, uh, you, you said Lentil region? Yeah. Like, would I want, oh. like, an actual RPG here? No. Ah. I, I think what's kind of special about it is that there aren't trainers around and it's just... That's fair. Yeah. So I guess in a way, like, th this, this is gonna this is gonna be a, like an interesting um, like comparison. But would you say like uh, the Lentil region is kind of like the Pokemon equivalent of a wildlife preserve? Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I think even in the first Pokemon Snap, they like mentioned that that like the only people allowed on that island are like researchers. Like, is a wildlife preserve. You can't catch any of the Pokemon here. Cool. Something to scan here. Yeah. Oh, to the to the right, oh, to the right. The berries, the berries. There's berries. Wait, All the way to the right. There's berries. Oh, right. Yep. Got it. Hey. Okay, and that gives us a hint for something else to find. Something later. else. What, what 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 do you think? Who which Pokemon did that? Huh? Uh, I think you it got was any theories? Wordle. 
thinking There's maybe heat tram. Scan. Yep, there you go. Okay, so now I actually get the crystal bloom. Yeah. That's gonna be the interesting bit, is like, you got three eyes here now, uh, looking out for like certain details. Oh, this is a good, that's a good Dodrio right Heck there. yeah. Oh, and Ducklet's here. Did you get Ducklet? Yeah. Hey, yeah. buddy. Oh, look at him. He's so happy. He's cute. Ooh, you get, like, a good, like, Swana picture right there. That one at the front. Yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be a good Swana pick. And you're on the dam. Ooh, what about... The, there's, like, a Bidoof close by. Nice. Yeah. It's even giving you these side eyes. Yeah. Do they, do, they, do they react to the scan? Doesn't look like it. No, not really. Suspicious side eye. Oh, scan. Scan. Up. Up. Oh, up. Oh. A fruit that grows lentil. Uh, tank growth love them. So. Uh, I need to... Oh my oh, god. Oh my oh. god. Oh. Hey, <laughs> hey there, buddy. That actually scared me. <laughs> the jump scare. <laughs> jump scare tank growth. Oh, else that scan? scared you. You yes, didn't know is. that this game. You didn't know that this game has jump scares. Yeah, I see the hoot hoot. Oh, I think, uh, try scanning the sign. I think that might be uh. what causes the thing. Like, if you zoom in on it with the camera and then scan. Uh, okay, maybe not. Not yet. Not yet, yeah, no. Not yet. Could totally be a thing later, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's another thing that I that I kind of like about this game. You don't hear like aside from Pikachu, you actually get to hear like what these cries sound like. Yeah. Um. Like. Yeah. Just some, surrounding you. At some point, I think Pokemon changed its stance. Like I think them saying their own name was just a uh, anime thing. Mm-hmm. Except for Pikachu and yeah. kind of sort of Eevee. Nice. I like how this this Buffalant has a flower crown. Oh yeah, is that a comfy on it? Uh. Oh yeah, it has a little flower on its head. Right. Can't get to look at me. Okay. Yeah. No. Like when um, you said a flower crown, I was like, maybe the, maybe it's a calm face it been. on its mm. on its hair. I think I know in I know in the um in the first game, Jigglypuff also sings its own name. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, they were like, I think all of them were saying their own name in the first Pokemon Snap, but. Yeah, that's But something... that's also when, like, Generation 1, like, Season 1 of Pokemon was popular, so, like, that Jigglypuff singing was a very, very, um. Uh. Meme, like, meme worthy thing. So I'm gonna. No, there was, like, there was, there, were, there was plenty of Pokemon that just, like, made noises. Yeah, there were some, like, Rapidash still just, like, neighed and. Like right and Shelter was a thing. funny little guy. For some reason, <laughs> Shelter would fly. I don't know why that was a thing. I think the second one. Look at him. Yeah. Look at that power pose. Look at that. Look at that cute little boy. So I'm especially trying to go for ones that I don't like have that star rank of yet. Uh huh. Um, and that's usually yeah. how you go about it. Yeah. Um, you already have a one star of Bidoof, right? It, yeah. it looks like you have a two star. Yeah, on the, the first the one. First picture. The jump. <laughs> yeah, that, that's it's not a, it's not a great picture, but it is our only two star. No, that's the main thing I've noticed is like a lot of the time. Don't you already have an Inmogul one star? Uh, no, I the one I put before was two because it was flying, but now oh, okay. we're gonna register a one because it's landed. Yeah, that's the, that's the yeah. main thing I that's the main thing I noticed with uh, these uh, with uh, how you get the best shots is <laughs> is um. Hey, how's it going? Five is good. I like five. Yeah, like when you get yeah. some good actions, um, like. Oh, you, this you, is the shot right here. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. You tend you tend to get like higher stars when the uh, Pokemon are doing something during the shot. Yeah, yes. uh, I like that one. Center of frame is important, and if you can get them looking at you, or, and, and if you can get multiple of the same, I'd go with that second one. Yeah, because that's like a good shot of uh, her just like rough, rustling her feather, her not feathers, her leaves. 
I'll just go with this last one. It might not. But yeah, Oscar, you'll see that some of the folders and stuff will have, like, red exclamation points. Uh-huh. Um, that's, like, to indicate, like, oh, you got a star ranking that you don't already have. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, so obviously that one's a lot better than the one we had before. We can only hold one of each star ranking of each Pokemon, so it's going to take yeah. the best one. Right. Uh, but if there is one that uh, you just like, that's es okay. especially like, you can keep it in your own personal album. Nice work. That's good. Nice. Nice work. Yeah, I imagine completing this game is uh, a trial That's a platinum. A Let's go. Still, you're doing really good. I do feel this game's, like, score is a lot more forgiving in this one than the first one. Like, Professor Oak could be a real asshole in the first <laughs> one. Yeah, I will say, like, I think this game is more forgiving, but also a little bit less consistent. Yeah. I can I can, I can, can see that, uh, I can see yeah. that uh, distinction, yeah. Like, they probably made it more forgiving because it's, like, not as good at actually measuring what things are. Mm-hmm. Hey, like, I I'm gonna give uh, I'm gonna give uh, the old game some credit though. Like, for even for e nice even for something as simple as photography, like that's like pretty ambitious for the tech of like the N64. They couldn't do a lot yeah. during that time. Yeah. Nice work. Honestly, original Pokemon Snap still holds up even alongside this game. I feel like it. Oh has, yes, Absolutely. it has enough of its own experience that it's worth playing on its own. I think. A hundred percent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is the beauty of, like, Pokemon in general, especially, like, the further it goes on, is that the more Pokemon you have, the more opportunities you will get to showcase these Pokemon in a different light. Yeah, and they waited, like, a million generations to <laughs> make another one of these games. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait till uh, Gen 15 is out for them to make the third Pokemon Snap. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, and, like, for what... new, new Pokemon Snap to come out. And, like, they shot themselves in the foot again because it's called New Pokemon Snap. So what do they call the next one? Newer Pokemon yeah, Snap. Yeah, because this is just yeah. gonna... It's not gonna be new anymore. And then it's newest Pokemon Snap. Yeah. <laughs> First Pokemon Yeah, that is Snap. a very dumb what? title. <laughs> you know, totally missed opportunity to call it Pokemon Snap 64. Yeah. Uh, photography seems to be doing well. I think you're about ready for a nighttime visit to Florio Park. There you go. Ooh, yeah, the the uh, glowing Pokemon. Yeah, so um, one of the main plot threads here, what Professor Muir is really trying to research is Illumina Pokemon and the Illumina phenomenon, phenomenon which basically just means it glows. Mm -hmm. So what are shiny? Yeah, but they're not different colors, they just glow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, some of them have more properties than just glowing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It seems to make them more powerful, too. Yeah. And, and some of them some of them become big. Yeah, some of them get big. Uh, but I think we'll get to experience some of that next time. I think this is a good starting point, you guys. Great work. Uh-huh. Honestly, like, yeah. I, I was a little, like, uh, curious to see how a, how a game like this would feel for a let's play but no we're in episode one and i'm feeling good about it yeah let's just chill take some pictures of pokemon i hope all you people at home will join in and yeah, yeah. uh until next time i'm the comic foil i'm the green scorpion i'm wombo and yeah keep on snapping keep on keep soaking. on snapping in the free world yeah <laughs> i'm sorry that's a nard that's a nardwar reference <laughs> Dude, don't worry about going into refer referential humor with us. We we, we like to think ourselves um, quite familiar with a lot of different properties. You'll learn that yeah. we never know how to end any of these episodes. Yeah, yeah, we tend... You and I get into a lot of, like, banter and just random conversations a lot during the end of, the, ends of episodes, especially when we do Fire Emblem.